Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Among in Cloud. In this video, we are going to talk about EKS Noteport service. What is Noteport and why do we require Noteport, right? So in the previous video, we actually saw how to create a you know pod inside an EKS cluster, but we didn't really access the application, right? So we didn't really uh, access that application in a browser or something. Because if you do not do that, then the application itself is of no use, right? So we are just deploying and we do not actually visualize what is there and that is nowhere going to help in the DevOps field. So to expose your application in order to access your pod outside of the cluster, there are a few things that you need to have, right? So that we call as services in Kubernetes. So one such service is Noteport. Okay, so we can expose an application running on a set of pods using different types of services available in Kubernetes. So one is cluster IP. Okay, cluster IP is one service. Second one is uh, that is what we are going to uh, talk about today, Noteport service. And the third one is load balancer. So we will talk about about um, the cluster IP and the load balancer in a separate video. But today we are going to talk about the node port service because that is very important. So now let's uh, only concentrate on node port service. So this node port service helps you to access your application outside of the cluster. So this is a cluster if you see here. So here we have the cluster, we have the worker nodes inside the worker nodes we also have the pods so this node pod service will help you to access this pod or a container outside of the cluster so that is why uh, we require node pod service outside of the cluster okay so uh, basically it exposes the service on each worker nodes ip address at a static port nothing but a node port so what it will do is you will be able to access the pod using the nodes ip address okay in a particular range of port and this port we call that as node port okay we will talk about this diagram in detail now so don't worry and one important thing is to note is that the node port that I told you, okay? So the cluster IP service to which the node port service routes is automatically created for you. The port range, the port range I told you, right? The node port. So that will be anywhere between 30,000 to 32,767. So in this range, the port will be allocated automatically. Either you can specify it if you want, if not, it will be automatically allocated for you. Now let's understand this one. For example, uh, you let's assume that this is a Kubernetes cluster. Ignore the you know colors that I have added. So I just wanted to make sure there is a difference between the colors. So I've used this. Okay. So here on the worker node, you have a pod. Let's assume that as an Nginx pod that is created. So the Nginx pod, as you already know, it works or the container port on a pod in a pod is 80. So that we call that as target port. The containers port, we call that as target port. Okay. So this is the in node port service that we have created. Okay. And the port number is 80. So I will talk about this port number now. I hope target port is clear to you. That is 80. That is the container port. So this port number 80 that you are seeing is a cluster IP service port. Okay. Next, I told you that automatically the cluster IP, uh, you know, service will be created for you. That's why we also get a port called 80. Next worker node port. So here it is the worker node ports. So as I told you, you can access the application, the app port uh, or the pod application deployed on a pod using HTTP colon slash slash your worker node IP, worker IP colon your node port. So we told what is a port node port. We already told that the node port that is created for you is nothing but the node port and that will be in this range 
okay so you will be able to access this application using the node port so one key thing here is that you cannot you cannot specify all these ports when you are creating the uh, uh, node port service via imperative way so that's why uh, some sometimes what happens if you want to specify all the ports on on yourself we will go with something called as declarative approach declarative approach is nothing but you will create a yaml file and you will mention all the things that you require so that also we will see okay now uh, if the theory is clear to you let's go ahead create a pod create a, a node port service and see how we can access the application in our browser okay so see you in the uh, portal as discussed in the theory part let's go ahead and see the demo in practical so what i've done is i've created a cluster using ekscdl command if you do not know how to create it i have created a separate video on that please make sure to check it out in the same playlist i will make sure to drop the link to the disc, uh, playlist in the description box below all right so let's go ahead and create a pod so to do that i'll just say kubectl uh, run and i'll just say amc demo as a pod or amc pod okay and hyphen hyphen image i'll choose a specific image that i've developed so i'll go to my docker hub uh, if you want to use the same image please go ahead and use it and if you see here uh, this is the image name i'm going to copy that and we need to specify the tag name either i can give black or blue let's go ahead and give black okay so i'll just paste this and i'll type in black at the end and i'll hit enter so this is going to create a pod called amc pod let's check that out so to do that you might already know that is kubectl get pods or po that's the short form if you see here we have a pod called amc pod that is running from 28 20, 12 seconds okay so as I told you, if, if you want to access this pod outside of the cluster, you need a particular service called node port. So we are going to do that now. We'll create a node port service. To do that, you will have to type in, let me clear the screen so that you'll uh, get a clear picture. So you will have to type in kubectl expose. We are exposing this uh, pod to the uh, you know internet by using this command so we are going to type kubectl expose pod and the pod name was amc pod so i'm going to type the same and hyphen hyphen type the type of the you know service that we are going to create is node port so i'm going to type node port and the port that we are interested in. so my application works on port 80 so i'm going to use port 80 here and the name of the service itself so i'm going to type in name uh, hyphen hyphen name is equal to amc svc or service so for the service the short form is svc just like your uh, pods the short form is po right so i'll hit enter so this is going to expose our application if you see here that is done so if you want to check that you can run kubectl get services if you see here there are uh, two services this is the default one you can ignore this uh, this is a cluster IP service created by the Kubernetes cluster and this is what we just created that is AMC service and the cluster IP um, is associated with this and this is a cluster IP and as I told you the node port that it automatically assigned is 31137 and this is a TCP port and this is your container port right now what we need to do is we need to access this particular um, you know um, service or the pod outside of the cluster so what we need to do is first as i told you if you want to access you will be able to access it with the help of http your worker worker node ip and along with the port number or the node port number so in your case we need to uh, get the worker node ip and the node port we have already that is 31137 so to do that what we'll do uh, let me uh, control uh, c and now we will get the uh, node ip so to get the node ip what we can do is so we can run kubectl get nodes hyphen o wide which will give us more details so let's run that if you see here there are two nodes which are ready in in the state ready and if you see here this is the one 
uh, you have an external IP here. So you can either access this application using any of these external IP, right? Or both of this at the same time. So what I'll do is I'll just copy the first one. I'll go to my browser. Okay. So I'll uh, paste that IP. And I also know um, that the port number is this one, 31,137. Let me copy that. And at the end, I'll add a colon and I'll paste the port number as well. And I'll hit enter. So uh, let's give it a moment. Um, it, it wants, it, it needs to load the application. Okay, if, if it's still not working, I think this is a security group issue. The reason is, as you know, um, we have not allowed port number 31137 uh, port number. So let's go to the security group in the AWS console. I'll open EC2. As you already know, this will create two EC2 instance. If you see here, these are the instance that are associated with my um, cluster, right? So I'll open any one of them. I'll go to security. If you see here, there is a security group. So let's open that. If you see here, these are the two um, inbound rules, but I do not see anything with the, the port number that I just saw. I'll click on edit rules and I'll add a rule called, um, I'll just queue custom TCP and I'll paste this IP address from anywhere in the world. I'll just say uh, AMC demo so that I'll be able to understand it later. Uh, we will remove this and then delete the cluster at the end. So I'll save the rules. As soon as I save the rules and if I go here, so if I refresh the page again, I should be able to get the, let's refresh the page. You see, I am able to get the, I'm able to access the container that is present inside the pod using the node port service. So this is uh, uh, one of the important service in order for you to access your application in the browser itself or outside of the cluster. I hope it is clear to you now. Uh, you know, you, I will drop the link to the Docker Hub repository. You can also make use of the same image if you want. And also I'll link on the you know playlist video where we have talked about a lot of other uh, things in Kubernetes EKS. So you can check that out as well. So uh, that's all I had for this video. If you're liking the content that I'm creating, please consider subscribing and share with your friends. Thank you and I will see you in the next one.